Hey guys, this is Michael Hoyer with another episode from the Sound Design Blog. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about interfaces. Now, you've heard me talking a lot about QLab and how you can use that in theater or just live sound situations. Now, that's great in the software sense, but you do have to get your signal out of your computer and into the actual room. So to do that, you typically will use an interface. So today I went ahead and pulled up one of the common ones that we use in our theater department, and that's a Focusrite Pro 40. What's great about them, they have eight inputs to them. Uh, that's two mic line inputs on it. And then actually, if we pop around here to the back, you have the actual remaining eight. So it has a total of eight mic line inputs to it, all with focus right preamps, which are, are decent. I mean, they're not super, super, super high end, but they're so much better than your cheapy stuff that you'll typically buy. So looking at this a little bit, you can see it has firewire to the back of it, not our newer, nicer firewire, but our old school plugs to it. So you'll probably need an adapter going from 400 to 800 and then you'll also notice that there's actually two ADAT plugins which are digital inputs and outputs which can be fantastic it's got a MIDI in a MIDI out also great SPDIF and then it's actually got line outputs as well which are equally delightful so let's go ahead and switch back to the front um Big thing you're going to want to notice when you're using this unit is that it actually has monitor volume, and this will typically affect your analog outputs, so just keep that in mind. And the other goofy little quirk about it is that the line outputs that you typically use, they actually start at 3, and it goes 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you have the 8 outs. I don't typically use the monitors, but focus on those eight if you're going to go analog. Personally, I recommend actually using ADAT and going out of your opticals, but that's just me. Less conversion, and then it can go directly into your board, like if you're using an LS9 or Yamaha ONV96 or whatever have you. But looking at this, what's, what's great about this interface? Well, it comes with Sapphire Mix Control, which actually gives you a lot of wonderful options with the unit. You can set your sample rate just by clicking on it. You can put your sync source, so that's your word clock. Um, and you can also do customizable routing. So those line outputs I pointed out to, to you, you notice here in this little routing area that it reflects it. So there's line output three, output four, going up to 10. So you'll notice right here that I'm just using the image. You have to have a unit actually connected to have it come up in the software, but I can still run you through it. Um, looking at it, you can actually customize where you want the computer to send its signal. And that's with DAW1 through DAW8, or however you'd like to go about it, you can go up to more DAW outputs if you'd like, but these also will pop back over to QLab. So your input one, or sorry, excuse me, your output one in QLab will be DAW one on mix control. So you could set this to be DAW one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you'd have eight discrete channels going out of your interface into your system through those analog outputs here in the back that are just TRS connections and you can convert those to XLR or whatever have you. Um, with that kind of ability, you can actually even take those signals and go directly to powered speakers or, you know, amps to your passive system and just totally skip having a board altogether. Or you can still go out like with your ADAT and go into your mixing board if you'd like. Um, I know a few folks that do that still just for the ability to have a little more control at the same time with QLab having EQ in it. Now it makes it a little more possible to just skip having the board altogether. Um, same way though, with the ADAT, your digital outputs on 
the interface. You'll notice that you have eight at output one through eight. You just do the same thing if you want to go through those. You can go dot one through dot eight, and it'll work the same way that those line outputs do, except your signal is going to be coming out of this ADAT optical port. Um, and it'll just be going out of the out right there with an ADAT cable into your board, which has to have ADAT in, and then you can route it in your board however you'd like to, which can be a real time saver and it's a total blessing when you can have one cable running eight discrete channels while also controlling your word clock um what else could i say about it for you you can actually do the eight channels of adat if you'd like and then continue on to your line outputs and have some analog outs as well if you have a show that's calling for more than eight channels um of audio so that you can actually build it up and be bigger and i've definitely done that before so don't think that's out of the question but yeah that's essentially how you go about using the interface so definitely check it out i definitely recommend the focus right sapphire pro 40 um no they do not pay me to say that but at 500 bucks it's a really great deal for how many outs you get plus the ADAT and MIDI capabilities so that you can actually do some MIDI control with this interface as well, which, believe me, can be a total lifesaver when you're doing multiple things at once. So check it out. Consider investing in one. It goes up to 96K, which is delightful, and 24-bit, so that's that pleasant DVD HD quality audio, 20 in, 20 out. Um, so yeah. Check it out and tell me what you think. That's all I have for this week, so be sure to keep tuned in and keep on designing.